Today on the channel from the McFarland DC Multiverse, we got the Collector's Edition, Captain Carrot. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another DC Multiverse unboxing and review and today on the channel we got Captain Carrot from the Collector's Edition but for all your Captain Carrot needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free got to get a deal out there and Captain Carrot comes to us today from good friend of the channel local brother Jeremy who gifted this to me as a Christmas present, he knew exactly what I was looking for. Looking for those hairy bipedal creatures. And that's what Captain Carrot is right here. And I have no experience with Captain Carrot. But the minute this was announced, I knew this was a must-have figure. Hairy bipedal creature. Goofy comic character. Just checking a lot of boxes here for me. And just something cool about a rabbit superhero. You can't go wrong with that one here. So, of course... We're going to get this in the collection, no doubt about it. And I'm going to track down the Platinum Edition, hopefully in the future as well. Time will tell on that one. But of course, one thing time will not tell is how we're going to do this unboxing. Of course, we're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what this carrot's up to. Is he related to Bugs Bunny? Who knows what Captain Carrot's up to here. But looking good in the package. Nice package design here. You got extra hands. You do got that card. Now this is a $30 price point. We're still trying to get used to that a little bit with these collector's edition. Not sure if the meat's all the way on the bone there. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments down below. But of course, 22 points articulation. DC Multiverse. Captain Carrot. Nice silver in gloss there. Feeling a little bit special. Number eight in the line. Of course, DC Multiverse at the top. Captain Carrot on the side. DC Multiverse number eight, Captain Carrot once again. And then kind of a grainy image back there, a comic image. And like I said, I'm not super familiar with the character. Hopefully we get some detail on the back of the card here. That always helps. And Todd McFarlane on the couch here today. We'll see what Todd thinks about all this. I'm sure he'll be chiming in throughout. We'll see what happens there. Oh, he even comes with a flight stand. Todd's saying, yeah, he's got a flight stand. He's a flying rabbit. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. Knocking stuff over, of course. Per the usual, as we usually do. Now, can I get this stand out of here? There we go. All right. There it is. There it's coming. Now we're getting somewhere. See you later once again. Goodbye. Now, we do get the McFarland flight stand, and Todd just like, yeah, flight stand. Todd's all about the flight stands. He's a big fan of those, and I am too as well. You get the traditional stand down low. You get the flight stand up top. Choose your own stand adventure at the end of the day. Thanks to McFarland Toys. Oh, shout out Todd McFarland. There it is. But now we got Captain Carrot in a plastic prison, and this is my least favorite portion of, of course, the unboxings, is where we count how many twist ties Todd McFarlane is giving us today. So there's one right off the bat. How about two, Todd? Can we get this second one out? Oh, my goodness. There's two right there. Oh, of course, got to lock in those ankles. Todd from the couch just chirping in. He's counting along. He's got the fingers up in the air. That's five. Get one there, all right. Let's see what we got around this arm. Looks like six. Oh my gosh, extremely tight. I just hate how tight they are around the figures. Uh, but there's six, and I think that is it, I think. I think. And now we're getting this. Now we got the strongest tape. When, when clip ties just aren't enough, we got to go to the strongest tape in the universe. We got to use that going forward. There we go. The card's getting out. Can I get the hands out? Can I get the hands out? There it is. And all right, we're about there. We're almost there. Oh my gosh, twist ties everywhere once again. Just bathing in twist ties. See you later. Goodbye. All right, Captain Carrot, what's going on here? Of course, you get the little stand for the card. We've seen these before. Guess what? We'll see them again. But we do get the Captain Carrot card. Can't wait to read about this one here. Now, real name is Rodney Rabbit. Okay. A rabbit from an alternate reality of cartoon animals. Rodney was a mild-mannered cartoonist until he ate a cosmic carrot. That'll always do it to you. 
As superpowered Captain Carey, he joined the Zoo Crew. Over many wacky adventures, they encountered both Superman and Starro the Conqueror. When their world was threatened, the Zoo Crew took its inhabitants to New Earth, where they changed into ordinary animals. Carrot became a stage rabbit before regaining his powers and helping fight Darkseid during Final Crisis. Good of him to lend a hand, a paw, a rabbit's foot. There you go. He is Earth-26's member in the pan-multiversal super team, Justice Incarnate. A complicated individual, a complicated life, and we hear that about a lot of animals, I think, at the end of the day. But diving into these extra hands we got going on, we got the flying hands here. We got two hands, kind of giving one of those kind of things. Look like four fingers on Captain Carrot for those keeping track at home. So we do have that. Then we do get one Fist of Fury. Always thankful for a Fist of Fury. And then we get the old thumbs up hand. He's giving the old Fonzie, hey, there it is right there. Got the thumbs up going on. Now, Captain Carrot looks very interesting out of the package. It's like, smell my finger is what he's playing, is what it looks like here. He's just kind of sniffing on that finger, but he does got the what you doing, brother finger. I'm here for that. And, of course, you get the chase, or I should say the platinum edition of this one. Different hands on them. Make them as different as possible. Uh, that's what I'm going to do when I that time does come for me. But, man, does this look cool and feel cool right out of the package. This playing a lot of hits. By no means is this the Green Lantern. By no means is it Batman. By no means is this Superman. But a cool figure is a cool figure. A deep-cut character sometimes play the hits as strong as a major character. And that's what I'm seeing with Captain Carrot right here. Love the carrot on the chest. The big C looking good. The carrot's kind of as a strap holding in the nice plastic cape here. Looking very nice there. You got the little bunny tail out the back. Oh, if that isn't just the cutest thing you've ever seen. You got that going on. Just looking very nice. The yellow and red attack looking good. Yellow throughout here. Carrots on the forearm. Of course, gloved hands for all these hands are all gloved here. Nice Aquaman-like suit. All these kind of this material always feels like Aquaman to me. That's what I always go back to. The old Kenner Superpowers days. Kind of has a little of that same feeling going on, of course. I uh, got a nice little red belt there against the yellow. He's got the Terry Steinbach standard issue new Ulm, of course, uh, shin guards going on here. And then he does got down to the feet and the three little toes, of course. Now, arms go all the way around. You do get a little butterfly at the shoulder. Bicep cut. Double jointed. Elbows. Not pinless, though. Not pinless, Todd. Uh, hands back, force, side to side, gripping hand over here, pointing hand on this side we talked about. You do get the hula hoop at the top. You do get the traditional waist. You do get the big old Captain Carrot splits if you do need it. His legs do go up. Double jointed knees. Got the knee pad as well. Ankles a little side to side, not really anything. And then you do get the up and down. And then, of course, the Todd McFarlane toe articulation on the good captain here, old Captain Carrot. And then you dive into the head, and that's where a lot of the magic here is. You got the uh, bunny rabbit fluff off to the side. You got that bunny rabbit nose. You got the two little teeth. Rabbits, great pets, but man, they got some sharp teeth. I used to have some rabbits. Until one day, a cat snuck into the garage and got in the cage and killed my rabbit. Are you kidding me? I'll find that cat. It might have been like 30 years ago, but I'll still find that cat. I'm sure he's alive somewhere. Or he's got kids, and I'll get his kids. That's what I'll do. Uh, but this rabbit looking really, really nice here now. Oh, look at that. I was wondering. We got articulation on the bunny ears as well. That is a nice extra, extra Easter egg. No pun intended. Nothing like that. No Easter stuff. Uh, no bunny stuff. Uh, but it is very cool. And I love the purple inside the ears that matches the nose. The white dead inside eyes. Oh, poor guy. And then he's got kind of a cap over the top protecting his identity, of course. Old Rodney here. A lot going on with this one. But everything that's going on with this one is fun. This is a fun figure. This is one of the perfect examples of those figures I always say that are really stop you in your tracks. You walk by, you see a ton of figures, and you go, whoa, wait a minute, what is that? And that's exactly what this will be on my DC shelf. Just very, very cool. A very powerful figure in maybe a different kind of way. Uh, but there is a lot of fun about this Captain Carrot. And once again, he's not Batman. He's not Superman. But boy, is he cool. Boy, is he fun to look at. Boy, is he feel good in hand as well. Just one of the better DC figures this year. Got to give you a little hand, Todd. Todd's sitting there on the couch. Yeah, did it again. Did it again. But a very, very good figure here. And just a, a little size comparison. I got a couple other DC guys and gals at my table right here. I got Superman and Supergirl just chilling over here. So I figure we pull them up side by side so you can kind of see how he scales. A little bit bigger than these guys. But once again, I have no really frame of reference. But he is a little bit bigger than Superman. So I'm sure I'm sure he could take Superman in a fight if he needed to. I'm sure. I'm sure. The math checks out. But man, this Captain Carrot I knew was going to be fun. I knew it was going to be cool. 
happy to report it did beat my expectations. Just an all-around fun figure. And even if you're not a McFarlane collector or DC collector, I can see some crossover appeal in this as it'd be great on an Easter display. It just looks great, looks cool. It's just a fun figure at the end of the day. And I'm here for a fun figure regardless the line it's in. So Captain Carrot, two thumbs up for me, two thumbs up from Todd McFarlane. And But what say you? How many thumbs up from you? Does he get two thumbs up from you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Early access to both YouTube channel videos, uh, bonus content, you name it. It's all going on over there at the old Patreon channel. Patreon, best way to support this channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Captain Carrot, I'm Kyle. What's up, Doc?